Hello and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon, the Adrenaline Heights Park, a park filled with adrenaline uh, generating stuff <laughs> like these wooden coasters, but now as well steel coasters and I hope that the steel coasters are going to steal the show because so far <laughs> we already got one failure, <laughs> the anti phylaxis <laughs> <laughs> no, it's anti-flaxes, but still. Yeah, this does not fit the profile of what we want in this park. And it shows, <laughs> all the cars are empty. However, we do have what are hopefully going to be uh, two ultra grand coasters. I know we have one just grand coaster up over here. 8.25, quite good. Not that particularly good, but it's quite good. And that is before this has kicked in, because the last time I ticked this on, we have not progressed, you know, even a second of in-game time. So, yeah, that's still to kick in. However, the other coaster over here... Uh, no, <laughs> the other coaster is not Entertainer 1, but... Hold on a second. I thought I clicked on the Chupacabraxis. This does not have ratings yet. Now we have put a break in place over here, so I hope that the coaster will be perfectly fine now and will have ultra high ratings. But we'll have to see. So, um, we are not going to wait on these ratings and then continue building. Because right now, we are at the 3rd of July and we still need 240 guests in this park. That's a lot. I mean, that's truly a lot. So, yeah, we're gonna have to keep building and we'll check back in on this coaster to see how the ratings are. But for now, I'm just gonna have to trust that it's gonna be good. I mean, it was only 10.10 .10 in the uh, intensity rating, so it really didn't need much breaking so yeah and i can't believe that it's this part that is too intense i mean this just can't be wrong it's over here somewhere that the you know the coaster went uh, too fast through all the track pieces now i just want to know like uh, there are quite a few guests coming and there's only one leaving so this should go up a little bit further so maybe we'll end up at like 1380 or something from from that coaster that we just built. So basically we need like 200 guests and we got, well we got July, we got August, September and October. So we got four months for 200 guests. That's doable but it's going to be very, 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 very tight, I must admit. We cannot have not even a single coaster crash. Everything needs to be spot on. Everything we build needs to be high in the ratings. Only then do we have a chance to finish this park without the cheesy advertising campaigns. But it's going to be a real tough challenge. I mean, so far, this whole Adrenaline Heights Park has been rather challenging. Quite like it, though, on the other hand, I mean... You know, it's challenging because the bar has been raised really high in terms of beautiful parks. I mean, this is at the bottom of the list with a handful of other parks where we were also under pressure and style and beauty are well, far and away not present here. I mean, sure, this has its charm, but no. I mean, I'm not impressed with the looks, but man, it's difficult, man. Now, um, last video I said that I wanted like, uh, you know, two more sets of coasters over here and uh, the s second set is going to be over here however <laughs> we do kind of miss some infrastructure here so i think we should get some more tarmac out here first and while we're at it we might as well lay the final bit you know for the last set out there as well so that we do not need to do that again and we can just continue building so uh, here we go we will continue to build tarmac till it's finished there, look, Tarmac, <laughs> Tarmac gods, you must like me. <laughs> All right, and we'll just go straight there. Till there, right, well, that's the final stretch of path done. Uh, we'll get, of course, some benches, trash cans. I mean, we'll worry about uh, facilities, <laughs> facilities, <laughs> no, facilities later. Uh, we do need a handy dude over here, though. So, handy dude, you are gonna get the far back end of the park. The forgotten corner of the world, really. 
I mean, yeah, that's your place. <laughs> Be happy there and do not complain, <laughs> especially the latter. Now, the thing is, uh, one thing that I am very well aware of is the fact that this is, I mean, since we do not have a square, it's just a line, really, our infrastructure. So over here, it will be the busiest. Over here, I do not expect a lot of folks over here. So these coasters that we're building over here, they won't be as profitable. Which is a shame, because, I mean, most likely, they are the best that we're going to be building. But yeah, it is what it is. Can't do much about it. Now, we are going to build the next set of coasters. So if we take a look at our coasters, uh, we have these two. Now, I think they would be beautifully paired up. I mean, they're very similar. Not even, I mean, not just in like their steel coasters, but the track, the looks and all that. It's very similar. So these are going to be paired up. And then these two are going to be paired up. Now... The beauty of this is that these two tracks also look very similar. At least in like how the track looks, they're pretty much equal. So yeah, pretty good. The thing is though, I mean, it's going to be a very tight race in time. So I'm not sure whether or not we will get to build all four coasters. I'm going to try, but I'm not sure about it. So we'll start out with these two. I mean, these are like the best uh, two types of the four, I feel. So we're going to have the most guests coming if we build two of these grand masterpieces. We're going to start out with the inverter one and um, we're going to build it over there. So, um, yeah, let's get to building it, alright? I mean, <laughs> we can talk about it <laughs> until the day is over, but in the end, all we need to do really is just build it. So, uh, yeah, let's build it backwards just a little bit. Actually, I don't really think I need it this far back. We can go quite a ways over here. Yeah, look at that. I mean, station platform too long. All that we really need now is just to go up. Set up. And then do it like this. And then, no. Okay, so that's not gonna <laughs> what we need because <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Nor does that. Falls. Are we gonna have issues over here? Am I? Yeah, I am at the park border. So. Right, maybe I need to move this one thing one back so that we can have the curve going up. I think right now we have a lot more uh, chance on success with this track setup. Uh, we will get one more station piece out there, of course. I mean, you know, we can't have a too short station. I want it max length. There, look. Right, here we are. We got ourselves a lift going on. So, I mean, <laughs> the base of operations is here now. Uh, we'll go up, we'll remove the supports, I mean, <laughs> just to free up some view, really, I mean, all the numbers, oh, crazy numbers. Now, how high do I want to go, really? To be honest, I think that height 30, uh, 35, 35 should be good, and then, I mean, this coaster really, oh, you know what, I mean, this coaster has it, it has the one special track piece that we haven't built in quite a while and oh i mean i've actually been wanting to build this you know ever since i thought like oh that's gonna be a really close on maybe i should extend this lift to like height 36 so it has a little bit more speed to it i think that wouldn't be such a bad idea really uh all right well we'll have to go over here but yeah i mean I can't even remember the last time we have built this piece and then along with this yeah you you all know what's no <laughs> not that you all know what's gonna come right now and it's this exactly this I mean how long has it been since we built one of these ultra awesome cool viper like looking uh, loop things I mean <laughs> it's been way too long really if you ask me now uh, at height 26, right now, I mean, look, right now it will still have speed, and what we can do is do an inline twist, and then, because the speed will be pretty low on it, we can have a corkscrew, <laughs> just like this. And then, uh, maybe even do a helix down, like this. Now, I won't want another helix. How about we have a loop ski over here? Uh, I think at height 22 we should have more than enough speed for a loop. Look, 
Uh, no, not a large loop, a regular loop inside the special cool track piece. How cool is that? Why can I not build the thing over there? Is that because of the loop? You gotta be kidding me. If I build this to the other side, can I then do it? That's to the left. I need the one to the right. No. That's a shame, really. So basically, uh, the game's telling me it's not going to happen. No. No, that's not going to happen. Fine, then. We'll just go through it normally, like this. It might also be because there is... Oh, look at that. That's... Alright, fine. Fine, fine game, fine. We'll do it like this. I mean, at height 25, though, um, how cool would it be if we can just have a corkscrew to over here? Height 28. The speed should not be an issue, really, on this one. So, and then we can have a steep drop. One more. Oh, okay. We cannot go too uh, too much down because otherwise we're gonna have issues hooking up the next coaster. So yeah, that's not gonna happen. But um, what else can we do here? What kind of cool stuff do we have to at our disposal? Well, this, of course, to the right, maybe. Yeah. I mean, that's cool, right? Then we could do an inline twist like that. And then, yeah, you know what, let's actually do a complete twist. Ooh, I don't know if where I'm heading it. Yeah, thought as much. That's actually a dead end. So let's not do the twist. So let's have another... Oh, could we... Uh, could I turn this around over here? And then go like this? It works. Oh, nice. Oh, the whole curve actually works. Oh, you know what we could do, really, with this track? Now that we already have lots of cool features, we could just go underground with it. And you know what? We are going to do just that. Oh, let's also build the entrance and exit, by the way. I mean, just thinking of it now, I mean, I'm looking at the station and I'm thinking, like, yeah, perhaps I should have <laughs> these in there, too. Actually, this, this curve is a rather bad idea. I already recognize that. But um, just the straight drop isn't. So, now, at height 6, we should be able to go wherever we damn please. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, if I do a helix down large, now I can. And I will, because we have some bloody speed to get rid of, pretty much. I mean, even at height 5, we still got so much speed, it's unheard of, really. Now, I would also like to resurface. However, I'm not really sure in terms of support. Am I... Yeah, I'm right below the path. That's no good. <laughs> I don't want to be right below the path. I want to be... No, or at the station. I want to be one beside it. Which would be over here, I believe. However, there is the footpath. So that's not going to work. This, though. It works. Look. And if I'm right, and I think all I need really over here... Yeah, terraforming, and then we're out. Look at this. What a circus show! <laughs> Oh, uh, hold on a second, hold on a second. Eggheads. I might be mistaken over here, but if memory serves me right, I thought we were researching ride improvements. Right? Yes, we are. What? A circus show? Um, what? <laughs> Egghead? <laughs> no, you gotta be kidding me. I have... Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Wonderland theming objects, Jurassic objects. Tell you what, we actually might be on the f onto a bug over here. I don't know if it's a game bug or whether or not it's a scenario bug, but it's definitely a bug. Ooh. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, all right. So basically, we're just researching everything. But to be honest, it's not bad. I mean, I don't really. I mean, they can do whatever, really. It doesn't matter that much anymore. 
I mean, we're at the end of the park. We got all the the stuff that we're gonna build, which are the coasters. So yeah, I mean, I'm not that concerned really. It's just you know, it's odd. It's a bug. The first one actually that I've encountered, aside from some graphical glitches, but it's the first bug, or at least I consider it a bug. But I might be too harsh on that, really. But yeah, all no, right, very odd. Um cool <laughs> i guess <laughs> anyway we'll continue building over here uh we will curve it right we are at height 50 now i think with our underground venture i think right now would be a wise moment to try and see this one back that's actually going to be rather challenging uh, as well because right now i'm like above the station not the ideal place for this. In fact, I think we might want to curve this to the other side over here and uh, get ourselves a different approach vector, uh, so to say. So, uh, let's see. How are we going to achieve that? Oh, there's a... Oh. Okay, there's, so there's a tree in the way. Well, that, that's an issue. <laughs> For one, a half loop, though I'm not sure we will make that in terms of track uh, speed. So we'll do it the other way. Uh, we will go over here. And the other coaster will pretty much have to have a very, very specific uh, return to the station path. Otherwise, it's going to be like next to impossible for that one. Right, now I'm not lined up just perfectly, but... We are getting close now. Actually, this could also be a helix down large. If I terraform just a tiny bit. And then... Ooh, so close. Right, I'll sacrifice that last piece of station. I mean, if this leads it home, it does. Nice. Right, well, time for the test ride then, huh? This coaster must be pretty good, but we also have another coaster that we do not know the ratings of, yet we have it for a while already. I said I would come back to it, and I haven't forgotten, <laughs> which I am prone to do. So, yeah, let's check it out. I must say that by the looks of the queue, I am pretty hopeful for this coaster. So, uh, Chupacabraxis, how are you doing in terms of rate? Wow. 72 people on the right? What the F? <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 9.36. Alright, so this coaster is grand. Truly grand. Ultra grand. Like grand in the grandness of the grand. I hope that this one will be too. I must say that the track... I think we did quite a good job on the track here. Yeah? Goes on the ground too, so yeah, I'm having high hopes. But this, wow, just wow, really. And the other one, the arrow for black sis. I mean, ooh, not bad, not bad. Look, the synchronizing kicking in, 8.65. That's pretty good, actually. Pretty, pretty good. Right, um, okay, so, yeah, wow, I mean, wow, both of them are a complete and utter stunning success, actually. Alright, I like that, I approve. Now, we are test riding this coaster, and, uh, yeah, you can, of course, check that out while I go about and, uh, hook up the queue, or at least give an attempt at hooking this one up. No... I uh, might have the wrong view on this one. Yeah, that's where I need to be. Right. Well, if this is anything like the other coaster, then I might want to have a long queue for this. And I'm just thinking ahead here. Bloody tree be gone. They're very annoying. Uh, I need to go down one further. And then that should hook it up, doesn't it? Yeah, that hooks it up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Exit's going to be really simple. We're going to have shared exits. Come on, game. Don't be nagging now. Alright, fine. You know what? There. Hooked up. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. Now was it, game? All you should have done, really, is given me 
the ability to just have the selector square where I want it. Alright. Test wide, I must admit, seemed pretty fine. I mean, I didn't saw two extreme speeds uh, going through everything. You know, I mean, I just kept like, you know, one eye and the other eye on what I was building. So, should be all good. This is quite high, these vertical positive Gs, but I think they're achieved over here after the drop, and if that's the only place, really... Oh no, <laughs> that's far from the only place. It actually seems that the vertical positive whatever Gs, or at least the most of them... I mean, this is this loop, right, what we have over here. Pretty cool G pattern. Then we have the twist going down, this corkscrew, it might be this part actually, or this part. Could also be, it could be the corkscrew, could be this part, or actually even the part down. In fact, looking at it, it sh I think it's the part down. It's a bit hard to tell, but alright, it doesn't really matter. We are going to set it up uh, as if it was... A big success number already, and not in the extremes. But if it is too extreme, again, I think we can break this. Yeah, I think we could break it, like, over here in front. No, this might actually be a difficult piece. We could break it over here, though, I think. I think we could have, like... Yeah, we can definitely break it over here. So, all I would really need to know is the speed on that part. Well, uh, we'll see that in a moment. For now, um, we need to name this. And we're going to open... No, we're not going to open it up. I do want the first ratings for that, though. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it is too extreme, I don't want to have to close it because... And then there's guests on it, you know, so... Now, uh, to name this, and we are going to call this... Uh, the... Uh, um... Mega Trollaxis. Mega Trollaxis. Yeah, alright. That sounds somewhat cool. Now, if we just zoom out here, uh, there is like, you know, just some color is missing, I feel. And of course, I mean, no. <laughs> you know, but it's missing, but no, we're not gonna do that. Now, what I feel is really missing is a bright yellow track with a dark red lining. We do not have such a track, and I feel like we should have. So, yeah, it's gonna be this one track that is gonna achieve just that. The support, if you make these gray, does that look any better? Or white? White does... I mean, if this coaster turns out to be really high in the ratings, then perhaps we can go with the white supports. Otherwise, I mean, this looks rather good, really. The other yellow was... Yeah, well, quite in your face screaming BAM yellow, really, <laughs> if that's the color type, but... Yeah, I like these. Uh, I like these colors. I like where this is going. We will now set these up to be... Uh, like this. You know, just not that... We could also go with the really extreme bright blue and then icy blue. <gasps> No, we have that over there, so we're not going to. No, we're going to go with the green. The lighter green, actually. How about dark green? Hmm. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're going to go with... Oh, well, that actually doesn't look so bad. Fine, we will go with these colors. <laughs> it's decided. I shouldn't bother too long with that anyway, so... Now, we need staff for this one as well. I mean, all our rides need it, and this one's no different. So, uh, you will have that area. Right, you're not mowing the grass. Very good. We will get ourselves another safety mechanic, most definitely. And I think if I just put the square over there, then... Uh, it's hard to tell. But <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to tell. I do think though, that this square is more or less where you need to be. This way, you'll be trapped over here and... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You are Mechanic 15. How come you are walking on the grass while you should be on the path there? Yeah, the both of you are right now. That's how it should be. 
Oh wow, that was a close call actually. Imagine if this would have had a crash. The ultra mega good Chewbacca Braxis. I mean, the coaster which is, oh man, so high in the ratings. Yeah, we do not have these yet, but anyway, um, yeah, I think that now would be a nice moment to just add some stuff to the park. You know what, we'll also get a guard. I know they're not needed, but we still will get one. We'll also get a teddy bear, <laughs> or a, a gorilla. <laughs> yeah, I mean, teddy bears. I mean, pandas, you, no. Gorillas, meh. Teddy bears, no. So, you. Bear number five, you will be the latest addition. Now, uh, because we have one coaster over here, I do think that this area of the park is more and more becoming official. So what we will do is we will add some facilities to that section. And these are also going to be like the final facilities, so yeah, we might as well place them. And we will need a drink stall as well over here. Uh, like you, yes. There. We will need... I don't think we even got one of these, so we might as well build this. <laughs> oh, we do have, we did have one. Um, I'm also gonna build you because at the far back end, I mean, if you want to get back, you might as well get yourself a map, all right? We're gonna give them these kind of umbrellas, so. And you know what? Just to top it off, we're also gonna get an ice cream one. I mean, why not, right? I'm in the mood. Oh, that might not have been the smartest thing. <laughs> we kind of need a station there, so... Yeah. Alright then. Well, pretty cool, pretty good, right? Will we have the ratings of the Mega Trollaxis? Well, I won't be a jerk. This time I will check it and... It's too extreme. Balls! Alright, that sounds good. <laughs> oh, look at, oh my goodness, look at the nausea. <laughs> yeah, alright, it's, uh, uh, I now understand why it's too extreme. Alright, so, do we have a, yeah, we got you going soon there. But let's just follow your speeds. Right, how fast? 70. And then, 70. Where are you at the graph? Because we need to lower the vertical positive G's. Yeah, that that is from train one. I uh. right. Well, at seventy, that means we we need to break this one. That's obvious. So we are gonna do just that. Uh, let's see. We need this to be back. Uh, break two. How about? 57 and then uh, balls well um, we might be able to still pull this one off if we remove a bit of this and then get the supports we oh that's really a shame though though uh, this is manageable as long as, and I now need to make, oh, that's actually a mellow, balls, alright, this is going to be a little bit more of an issue, I don't know what I just removed, but I did remove something that perhaps I should not have, um, alright, add height 25, can I just move the whole thing, yeah, apparently I can, alright, Fine, we'll test ride it again. But in the meantime, um, yeah, this might not be enough. We might want to break it even further. There's no need for it to go at these insane speeds because it never really achieves that great of height. So we could break it even lower, but I think that this will have fixed it. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to say the least, but um, we are going to continue building the next coaster as if this one were fixed. And if it isn't, we'll come back to it and we will keep adjusting it uh, till it's good. But for now, I'd like to say, join me next time when we will hopefully have this be a grand coaster and we will build one other next to it. So uh, yeah, see you then.